Here's presenting the Bard from Avon, William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was an English poet and playwright, widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's preeminent dramatist. The Globe Theatre was a theatre in London associated with William Shakespeare. It was built in 1599 by Shakespeare's Playing Company. The Lord Chamberlain's men and was destroyed by fire on the 29th of June. 1613. A second Globe Theatre was built on the same site by June 1614 and closed in 1642. A modern reconstruction of the Globe, named Shakespeare's Globe, opened in 1997, approximately 750 feet from the site of the original theatre. Let's zoom into the Globe Theatre. Do you know, Somia? The flag on the top signifies that there is a play on that day. Wow! A great idea! This is the gallery where the tickets were expensive for the shows and it had seats and had three tires. I know! It was for the elites of the society. This is the balcony which was often used for plays such as Romeo and Juliet. Oh! This must be the place where Romeo stealthily climbed to meet Julie. Ha ha! Trapdoors allowed access to the stage from beneath. Yeah, the witches and ghosts ascended the stage from here. Yeah, yeah. Huge doors were used to move furniture to the stage. The actors used to hide and wait behind the curtains. Sometimes it formed a kind of inner stage to present certain scenes as behind. It represented, for example, the bedchamber of Desdemona or the cell of Prospero. Somia, you know, the angels used to ascend from the trapdoors located above. It would have been such a wonderful sight. Cheap tickets were available for those who stood around the stage to watch the play. Few lucky ones used to get a seat in this pit. They were called the Groundlings, a boisterous lot. How the stage affected Shakespeare's work. Shakespeare's drama were greatly influenced by the conditions of the Elizabethan stage. The stage usually lacked in scenic arrangement. This was overcome by the poet by his gorgeous description and graphic effects of poetry. As it was an open stage, mostly overwhelming scenes closes relatively quietly as the actors had to clear the stage. Thomas Carlyle said about Shakespeare that due to the limitation of the stage, this great soul had to crush itself. Bulk of the Elizabethan audience generally belonged to the vulgar class who used to use the pit. They reveled in boisterous scenes of murders, bloodshed, vengeance and hence they patronized melodramatic plays. So his plots were rich with scenes of murder, betrayal, etc. Shakespeare's costumes were gaudy, rich and expensive. They were Elizabethan costumes, irrespective of the period and country in which the drama took place. Though it did indicate the rank and office of the character, Women had not yet appeared on stage, so often young boys played the female roles. Shakespeare, to compensate for the absence of actresses, often contrived to represent the heroines as men. This you will get to see in the play that my fellow mates are going to enact, so have fun!